In this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to configure DreamReport to connect to a WonderWare InTouch application for both real-time and historical values, how to log InTouch real-time data using the DreamReport data logger, and how to create and generate reports with data from InTouch using DreamReport. So let's talk about DreamReport's communication drivers for WonderWare software. In this slide, we list all WonderWare communication drivers. We can categorize these into real-time data sources, as shown in the upper half of the wheel, and historical data sources, shown in the lower part. In this presentation, we'll use the SweetLink driver to communicate with a running InTouch application for live data, and the InTouch historical values driver to report on data stored in InTouch's historical log files. We cover connectivity to the other WonderWare sources in separate video tutorials. In this final slide, we'll follow a typical workflow in creating a Dream Report project using WonderWare InTouch data. First, we'll open the Dream Report Design Studio and create a new project. Then, we'll open the WonderWare SweetLink protocol driver and add and configure an instance, pointing to our InTouch application. We can add additional instances to remote InTouch nodes as well. We will also configure an instance of the InTouch historical values driver to point to the InTouch historical files, or the LGH files. We then need to create item logging groups to store the InTouch data into the database of our choosing. At this point, we are ready to create a new report. We can drop any kind of tabular, chart, or calculation object onto the report and browse the InTouch real-time or historical tags for use on the object. After configuring the object, we are ready to start DreamReport's runtime engine and generate a report. So let's launch DreamReport Design Studio and create a new project. We'll give our project a name and set some localization parameters. Next, we're going to open the WonderWare Communication Drivers list and choose SweetLink over TCP IP Communication Driver and create an instance. We'll call this instance InTouch underscore RT for InTouch real-time data values. And we'll import the list of tags from the InTouch application directory. We browse to the directory, choose our reactor directory, and there we see all the tags listed and then set any additional parameters if we need, for instance, if the InTouch node was on a remote machine. Add it to the list. Next, we'll choose the InTouch historical or LGH values, give it a logical name, and simply browse to the directory where these LGH files are stored. OK, and add it to the list. Now that we've created a couple of instances of our communication drivers, we're going to create some item logging groups. The first one we'll create, we'll use to store analog tags. We give the group a name, and we'll be descriptive here to show that we're storing data at 10 second resolution. We'll choose the instance of our communication driver. You'll then see all the InTouch tags have been exposed from the InTouch tag name dictionary and then we'll pick through any tags that we want to record in this group. Now that we've added tags, we'll set up our recording rate. And we'll choose a cyclic storage rate here and store in the data every 10 seconds. We can also show which days to record the data, or even set various recording conditions. Next group we'll create will be for our Delta Store tags. Again, we'll browse down to our InTouch real-time data source, and this time we'll choose some various pumps, and other discrete tags, and maybe even some string tags as well. And let's also record which product 
we're running. We'll leave the default here as on change or delta storing, and we can actually monitor the communication status to the InTouch application, and there you see the values changing. At this point, we're actually going to go ahead and start the project. So while we're developing our report, Dream Report will start logging data for us. You'll notice at the bottom, the project is now launching. And while that's happening, we'll create a new report, which we'll call InTouch Data Report. We'll also change the report name to reflect which product we're running. So as you can see here, we can browse to any tag, any real-time tag. In this case, we'll find the product. And we'll add it to the report name. So when it gets generated, we'll know exactly which product was running when the report ran. We we'll leave the output. The default output is PDF. And then also make sure that the PDF document opens at the end of the report generation. So let's put an item table on the report. And we're going to use an item table to show data acquired from our Wonderware InTouch application and stored in the Dream Report history. And let's choose a few tags from our reactor system. We'll choose a time period, being the last 10 minutes. And we'll give our table a heading and just do some basic formatting of the item table. We're now going to put a line chart on our report displaying data from the InTouch historical log files. We'll drop the chart on the report and now it browse the external history server data source Look into those LGH files, which exposes all tags. Pick our first flow tag. Choose the time period over which we want to report. Now I went back and looked at my historical log files, and I know I have some from uh, December 11th. So let's put them in there from, let's say, midnight to 4 a.m. A nice four-hour chunk of history. Give our tag a legend, choose its color, and add the pen. We'll browse for the next tag, flow two. Set its settings. And let's actually display moving averages instead of raw data. So we'll choose that for our pens. And finally, flow number one. Change its pen color. Add its legend. And we've now added three historically logged tags to our trend. Let's show some general appearance settings. Give our chart a title. and show the legend. So at this point, we have two items on our report, an item table showing data from the InTouch real-time data source, and a historical trend showing data from the InTouch LGH files. Now we'll do some basic header and footer settings. Let's put our report name up there. Let's also put our report generation time. And these are all just built-in objects or dynamic text objects. Let's justify our time and align them. Now what we're going to do is put some text on the header of the report, which shows which product was actually in process when the report was generated. So now instead of going to historically logged tags, we can go in and browse our real-time data source. 
look for the product tag and actually include that value at the instance that the report is run. So we go to our real-time data source, find our, our product, select from our list of statistics, current value, and that is what will be displayed when the report gets generated. Finally, let's put a page number at the bottom of our sheet. Do some final formatting to make our page header and footer. And our report is complete. Save and reload the reports. Let's generate this report on the fly. Report is generating. And there we have our InTouch data report running that product. There is our raw data. Ethyl acetate is the product that was running. There's our chart, our moving averages, and our page numbers at the bottom and our header up top. You'll also notice in the file name, the name of the current product. Let's go and force a new product to start. In this case, we're going to be running, let's see what's generated next, benzene. And since that's the current product, let's regenerate the report and make sure that benzene is reflected as the current product in process. There's the report generated at the bottom of the screen. And there we have benzene, updated report, updated chart, and again, our file name reflects the name of the product being run.